let's talk about wigs what are the different types of wigs that you can purchase one is a synthetic wig the other is human hair wig human hair wig is definitely a lot more expensive than synthetic wigs but even when you are buying synthetic wig or a human hair wig there are a few characteristics of every wig that you should be looking at whenever you are purchasing a new wig one what is the volume of the wig the more volume the wig has the better it looks second what is the length of the wig the longer the wig the shorter the wig it will decide how you look now for example if you are wearing something which is more traditional like an indian attire probably you would want to go for a longer hair wig if you are wearing something modern or if you want to have a fusion kind of a look maybe you can go for a bob cut or a shorter hair wig it all depends on you know what kind of uh, appearance you want to portray but always remember volume and length are the two most important characteristics you have to look at whenever you buy a wig also if the length you know volume is not so good the length is not suitable for your personality it may not look good when you are taking pictures there are two other things you have to consider when you are buying wigs one is the durability of the wig meaning how many times can you wear it how many times can you use it this is very simple to understand the more expensive the better the quality of the wig the better the quality the longer it will last usually if you buy wigs which are very cheap just to get started they will not really last for that long probably you can use it you know 8 to 10 times and then you know the strands the hair strands keep falling off and you cannot use it any further which brings me to the last point or the last characteristics that you have to look at when you are buying a wig which is the strength of the hair strands whenever you are combing the wig if you see that the hair strands are falling off it means the hair, the wig is not is not made of you know strong material so volume length your durability and the strength of your wig these are four things that you have to remember and volume and length being the most important now let's look at how does a synthetic wig differ from a human hair wig what are the pros and cons let's start with synthetic wig as the name suggests you know it is a synthetic wig it is ready made and it is very cheap as compared to human hair wigs but when it comes to synthetic wigs there are certain things which are not so good which is first synthetic wigs are not very heat resistant meaning you cannot use styling rollers you know which use heat to style the hair because when you use it the synthetic wig may melt also when you are using synthetic wigs you will notice that after a period of time the hair in the wig gets entangled and it becomes very difficult to you know comb the wig and the hair strands keep falling off so that is one of the areas where synthetic wigs are not so good the other thing which you also have to keep in mind when buying synthetic wigs synthetic wigs have a tendency of causing irritation in your forehead skin so please ensure that you are wearing a wig cap whenever you are using a synthetic wig now let's look at human hair wigs well as the name suggests human hair wigs are made of natural human hair so of course they are more expensive and they last a lot longer as compared to synthetic wigs they give you a lot more natural look they are not very resistant to heat meaning you can use you know styling rollers which use heat to style the style the wig also when you're using human hair wigs uh, you know you can color the wigs just like how you color uh, your normal hair and it will look just as natural as you know natural hair so that is where human hair wigs are you know way more uh, uh, better as compared to synthetic wigs but definitely they are expensive so you need to understand you know depending on your budget and what is your style what kind of wigs you should be going for but these are just the pointers that you need to remember when you're comparing synthetic wigs with human hair wigs now the next question is 
what kind of wigs should you be buying or what kind of wigs should you use or purchase well if you have figured out you know you want to go for synthetic hair wigs or human hair wigs the next thing that you have to think about is the shape of your face yes the shape of your face can help you to pick up the right style of wigs let's understand the different face shapes and what wig goes well with it the first face type is oval face someone with an oval face has a longer face and the length of the face is typically one and half times that of the width of the face also you will notice that people with oval face have a wider forehead compared to the chin now if you are someone who has an oval face you are lucky because on oval face any kind of wig looks good i myself you know consider myself lucky because i have an oval shape and whatever wig i wear it looks good on me so if you have an oval face don't worry about what wig style you should be buying literally just pick up anything and it will look good on you the second type of face is round face people who have a round face shape will typically have larger cheeks which make the you know face look uh, wide also they don't have any angular structures you know in their face the kind of wig which is best suited for round face is a wig which has layers or something which has waves of volumes this kind of a wig with layers or waves looks really beautiful on a round face the third type of face is the heart shaped face people with heart shaped face have you know a wide forehead you know very pronounced cheekbones and a pointed chin if you're someone who has a heart shaped face please know that you know there are many types of styles hair styles which will look really beautiful on you you can you know have wigs or hair style which is only chin length or shorter length it will look really amazing or you can have you know you can have a wig or hair style which has inward facing layers another you know style that will look really good on you is something which has side you know sweeping fringes if you look at these you know two to three styles and if you try to incorporate these looks on your face trust me it will look very beautiful fourth type of face is square face yes people who have square face typically have you know foreheads which is wide and their chin is also very wide they have a very pronounced and a prominent jawline now since you know their face is shaped this way it is better to avoid shorter hairstyles or shorter wigs do not buy you know wigs which are chin length or very short what will work really well if you are someone who has a square face is a wig or a hairstyle which has long locks or you can also buy a wig which has tapered bangs if you look at the you know pictures of celebrities who have square faces you will notice that you know their hairstyles typically have these tapered bangs and or you know long locks because it helps them to soften their masculine you know and more prominent jawline features the next face type is diamond face diamond face people are people who have shorter or narrower foreheads you know wider cheekbones and narrower chin now if you're someone who has a diamond face and you're looking for a wig please know that you know most of the wigs will look really good on you but certain wigs you know which have a bob cut be it long or short will look definitely good on you so diamond face people just remember you know bob cut short or long or if you want you can go for any other wig also they all will look good on you the last type of face is called oblong face oblong face people are those who have round foreheads round chin they are a little different from oval face because their chin is a little narrower now if you're someone who has an oblong face 
please remember to avoid hairstyles which give you a you know long and narrower look avoid any kind of hairstyles which are very sleek you know it is best to purchase wigs or use hairstyles which give you a lot of volume so wigs which have a lot of volume will help you you know widen your face another thing that you can also do is to you know have wigs which have thick bangs another thing that will also help you you know if you're someone with an oblong face is to go for wigs or styles whose length is longer than your chin because it will help you to mask those masculine uh, features always remember whatever wig you are buying your wig should help you soften your face by hiding your masculine features like your jawline right the other thing the wig has to do is it should help you to keep the focus of the person who's looking at you into your eyes your eyes and your lips need to pop out so the other features like your jawline you know the side of your ears these are areas that you should be able to hide or mask using your wig style if you're also someone who has a huge forehead you know you know a wig with good bangs will help you to mask that wider forehead which looks very masculine so these are the things you need to remember when you're purchasing a wig now let's look at what are the top styles of wigs that you can go for especially for cross dressers and transgender people because our face is a little more masculine as compared to women one of the best wigs that you or the styles of wig that you can go for is a wig which has a side parting side parting is very feminine and it helps you to mask many of your masculine features another you know style that you can go for is called side bangs side bangs will help you to keep the attention on your eyes and also able you know help you to hide some of your masculine eyebrow areas also you can go for wigs which are shoulder length at least shoulder length because then you know you can hide your shoulder area and your jaw line and your you know thick neck area you can also go for wigs which have a lot of layers because layers are very feminine and it helps you you know portray that femininity and that feminine look through your hair another uh, you know style of wig which is very popular among cross dressers or transgender people is something called as soft waves soft waves you know is a style of uh, hair or is a style of wig which gives you a lot of uh, you know volume to your hair it gives it gives you that fuller appearance remember we talked about volume so any any kind of style which gives you a lot of volume which will definitely help you to look more feminine now let's talk about how to take care of your wigs typically you know the best way to take care of your wigs is to use a shampoo and conditioner which is typically designed for a wig yes there are you know wig shampoos and conditioners available in the market another thing that you can do is just take it is to take it to a professional people you know who are professional uh, hair stylists they know how to take care of a wig but if you want to take care of your wig if you want to wash it at home there is a three step process that you can follow step 1 is to soak the wig in shampoo and water after you've kept it for some time use your wig comb and remove all the shampoo or the conditioner if you have used out of the wig do not rub or massage the wig keep using your wig comb the second step is to rinse the wig in warm water this will help you to remove all the remaining products which are there on the wig after you have done this the third step is to take the wig out again and use your wig comb to straighten out you know all the hair strands which have entangled because when you're washing the wig there is quite a possibility that many of the you know hair strands will get entangled and it will not look good so before it dries use your wig comb again and straighten it out and then all you have to do is keep it in a place and let it dry this is a simple step three step process that you can follow to take care of your wigs it also depends on how regularly you're using your wig so if you're someone who regularly uses a wig let's say every you know 2 to 3 days i would highly suggest 
that you wash your wig at least once in you know 15 20 days